Understanding rubble soling is essential. It's a traditional method of foundation preparation that involves laying a layer of broken stones over the soil. This creates a strong and level base for the foundation, making it particularly useful in areas with weak soil conditions. By helping to distribute the weight of the structure evenly, this technique ensures the stability and durability of buildings and other structures. Rubble soling has been used for centuries and remains a relevant and effective method in modern construction. This method is especially important in areas prone to earthquakes. The rubble layer acts as a cushion, absorbing shocks and vibrations, and protecting the structure above. Therefore, rubble soling contributes to the safety and longevity of buildings. One of the primary benefits of rubble soling is its ability to increase soil bearing capacity. Weak soils are prone to compression, which can lead to uneven settling of the foundation. Rubble soling creates a solid base that distributes the load more evenly. Another advantage is improved drainage. The gaps between the stones allow water to flow freely, preventing waterlogging and potential damage to the foundation. Good drainage is crucial for the long-term health of a structure. Rubble soling is also a cost-effective solution. The materials used are often locally sourced, which reduces transportation costs. Additionally, the process itself is relatively simple and labor-intensive, making it a more affordable option compared to some modern techniques. The process of laying rubble soling begins with site preparation. The topsoil is removed and the ground is leveled and compacted to ensure a stable and even base for the stones. Proper compaction is crucial for preventing future settling. Next, the rubble stones are laid in a single layer. The stones are placed tightly together to create a strong and interconnected base. Larger stones are used at the bottom, while smaller stones fill the gaps. Once the stones are laid, they are compacted again to ensure the stability of the rubble layer. Finally, a layer of sand or gravel is spread over the stones. This fills any remaining gaps and creates a level surface for the foundation. Section 4. Technical Specifications, Materials and Measurements The materials used for rubble soling must meet certain specifications. The stones should be hard, durable, and free from defects. Commonly used stones include granite, basalt, and limestone. The size and shape of the stones can vary. The thickness of the rubble soling layer depends on the load of the structure and the soil conditions. As a general rule, the layer should be at least 150 mm thick. In areas with very weak soil, a thicker layer may be required. The quantity of materials required can be calculated based on the area to be covered and the thickness of the layer. It is important to order sufficient materials to avoid delays during construction. Section 5. Real-World Applications – Rubble Soling in Action Rubble soling is a versatile technique used in a wide range of construction projects. It is frequently employed in the construction of buildings, roads, and retaining walls. Its effectiveness in strengthening foundations and improving drainage makes it a valuable asset in various applications. One notable example is the use of rubble soling in the construction of ancient structures. Many historical buildings, such as temples and forts, stand as testaments to the durability of this technique. These structures have withstood the test of time, demonstrating the long-lasting benefits of rubble soling. In modern construction, rubble soling continues to play a vital role. It is commonly used in areas with challenging soil conditions, such as coastal regions or areas prone to flooding. By providing a stable and well-drained base, rubble soling ensures the integrity of structures built on otherwise unsuitable ground, Section 6. Conclusion, a foundation for the future. Rubble soling remains an essential technique in civil engineering. Its ability to strengthen foundations, improve drainage, and provide a cost-effective solution makes it a valuable asset in various construction projects. From ancient structures to modern buildings, rubble soling has proven its durability and effectiveness over time. As we move forward, it is crucial to continue incorporating traditional techniques like rubble soling into modern construction practices. By combining time-tested methods with innovative approaches, we can ensure the stability, longevity, and sustainability of our built environment. Rubble soling represents a sustainable approach to construction. By utilizing locally sourced materials and minimizing the use of energy-intensive processes, it contributes to a more environmentally friendly building industry. As we strive for a greener future, 
Embracing such sustainable practices is essential for minimizing our environmental impact.